Hi everyone, let's do lead code 3, longest substring without repeating characters. So we are given a string s, we want to find the length of the longest substring without repeating characters. This string here, as you can see, the longest substring without repeating character is either this one, which has a, b, c, this one, b, c, a, or also this one, a, b, c. As you can see, the longest value for this substring is always 3, so that's why the output is 3. The first way to solve this problem is to use brute force. So we would make all the combinations having a at the start, then we would add b, then we would add c. Whilst we're doing this, we need to check whether the current substring has unique characters and then save in, uh, let's say, in a max variable, the max so far, so in this case is 3, then we keep adding. As you can see, there is a repeating character, but because of how brute force works, we will reach the end and then repeat the same with the next character. So this is not very efficient. There is a better way to solve this problem, and it is to use something called sliding windows. To do this, we need a variable to save the maximum substring length so far and a set. We're going to use a set because the contains function of a set runs in O of one time. So let's start looking at the example. Our initial window is going to be A. We're going to add A to the set and update our max so far to 1. We're going to increase the slide, this window, add B. So when we increase the window, we need to check whether the new letter we are adding is already in the set. Uh, I'll explain it in a bit. As you can see, the, max, the substring has unique characters and it's of length 2. We need to add the next character C. Is C in the set? No, it's not. So let's add it. And the maximum so far is 3. Now, let's add the next character. It's a. Is A in the set? Yes, it is. So what we want to do is pull from the beginning of the window. In this case, it's A. So we remove A from the set and we add this new A to the set. As you can see, the max is still 3. Now we want to add the next character, which is B. Is B in the set? Yes, it is. What we want to do is pulling from the beginning of the sliding window until B is removed from the set. So in this case, we are lucky it's the first element. We remove this from the set. We add B again. And the max so far is still 3. Same for C. This is a more interesting case now. So is B in the set? Yes, it's, it is in the set. We are going to start pulling from the beginning. We want to remove A. Is B in the set? Yes, it's still in the set. So we keep pulling from the beginning of the sliding window. Let's remove the next one, which is B. We check again, is B in the set? No, it's not. Now we add it here. We calculate the maximum so far, which is 2, which is smaller than 3. So this remains unchanged. And we keep repeating this operation so we have another b is b in the set yes it is we pull from the first element of the uh, sliding window c we remove it from the set is b still in the window yes it is we remove b then we add the last b and now we have reached the end at the end we want to return the max so far so in this case return 3 which is our result time complexity of this solution is uh, O of n because we need to iterate through the input array only once and the memory complexity is O of n as well because in worst case we can have each letter in the set. This is uh, an efficient solution to this problem. Okay, let's write some code now. The first thing we need is a set. I'll call it a window set. We need a variable where we're going to store the max so far. We need two pointers in the sliding window. So we need a left pointer, which is going to start at zero. And then we're going to have a right pointer. I'm just going to declare it in this for loop. And the right pointer is the one that is going to be moving up until the end. Now, we want to keep removing from the window if the new character we are adding is already in the set. And we can do it this way using a while loop. While sr is in our set, we remove the first element from the window. After moving the first element of the window, we are going to move left pointer by one. After removing the same character from the set and making the window shorter, we can now add this character to our set. We want to calculate the max so far now. So we can use 
the built-in function max. One thing to note is that our set is going to contain only the letters which are in the in the actual window so they're going to be uh, unique so we can just calculate the length of the of the set and after we exit this for loop we can just return the max so far let's see if this works oh i have a typo here let's try again as you can see it works please like and subscribe if you found this video useful thank you